All right, everyone. My name is Elna from twinsmommy.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in form for your blog so that you can start growing your email list using ConvertKit. All right. So when you log into ConvertKit, go to forms and we're going to create a new form. Now ConvertKit has some great types of forms. So for today, we're going to do form. A landing page is a separate page on your website that does have a form embedded in that page. Um, but for today, we're just going to do a form that you're going to embed in a blog post, either in the beginning of your blog post or at the end. Um, it's up to you as the blogger. There are three different types of forms you can choose from. One that sort of slides in as a person is reading your content, one that sort of pops up as they're reading, and then one that is in line. I find that the most converting and the one that isn't as, I guess, annoying to readers is the inline blog post. You know that they're invested in your reading and that the offer in that post, your opt-in form is relatable to the content. So it just helps that reader say, oh, I really like this topic about homesteading. Oh, she has a great opt-in form on, you know, the homesteading starter package or whatever. <laughs> And I'm going to opt into that and then get her emails on that. It just makes it easier for the reader. Okay. So we're going to click on that one and you can choose from these, again, these different types of forms. I'm going to choose this one. It has an image. I find that this is a bit more converting as well. It shows what you're getting. So I'm going to choose that one. What I like about ConvertKit is that it's super easy for the non-tech person to do this. Um, I'm not very techy at all. And I can easily set this up within a few minutes. So the first thing you need to do is get an image of your freebie. So you go to choose file and I'm going to do the, this one. It's the 12 month planner. So I'm going to change this to, um, get your 12, month blog plan. And then over here, um, grab your free blog planner today. Like that. Um, again, you can customize your form. I'm going to make this bold. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to pretend that this is my font color, something a little bit like that. You can change the size as well to make it bigger so it can stand out out more. All right. Um, you can change the copy of your button text. So I'm going to put, um, gimme. I'm going to change the button color again to my color of my blog. And then you can play around with the, the shape of your button. I like a bit more of a square. So something like that. And so this is the basic opt-in form that you can use for your blog. Make sure to save it. From there, you need to create the email. So um, you want to send the incentive email of basically saying, here is your, here is your offer that you opted in. So instead of having the subject line, I'm going to have, um, here is your 12 month blog plan. It's a good idea to have exactly what they're getting because they may opt in for many things in a typical day. So you want to tell them exactly what they're getting here. You can, um, it's hard to read it, but you can be a bit more personal if you want. Thanks for signing up to my 12 month blog plan. And then you can do click below to confirm your subscription. You'll be on your way. And then you can say, uh, thanks. And then Elna, and then your, your blog and your name, and that's fine. So it will automatically save. So even if you click this X, it will save all of this. So, and you can check just to make sure, cause I did, <laughs> there it is. Great. Now this is where they're going to grab this, um, freebie. You can have it as a PDF and straight there, they get it right away. Um, and we can provide a URL. So what I like to do for my freebies is I like to host them on my blog under the media library. So I'm just going to grab them and put them here. All right. So there it is. I'm going to triple click and then 
copy. And this is what I'm going to use for the URL. So I'm going to erase that and put the blog plan. All right. So that's what's going to be the opt-in form. So now we have to move this opt-in form to your blog. So you can go through the different um, things you can do with this. If you need to make a quick change of a template, different colors, this is sort of an off gray. You can change that to completely white if you want. Different color, you can customize all of this. You can have a background image. There's lots of things you can do. I like it simple. Um, and then you can be more targeted for your audience. Do you wanna to continue to show this form even if they signed up? If not, do you wanna hide it? There's lots of things you can do. All right. Okay, so I think, and then finally, when the visitor subscribes, you can show them this success message, or you can redirect to a thank you page, a one-time offer page, whatever you want. So right now, let's keep it simple. They'll get this message shown. So I'm gonna save everything. So now you need to get this uh, code to embed it. So go here to embed, and JavaScript is all you need, so you just copy. You can click on that to copy it. And then you're gonna go to your blog post that you wanna put this in. So I'm gonna put it in this one. I like to have a little bit of a copy in my blog post to say, hey, get ready, this is what I'm offering. So here, make sure you sign up to the 12 month blog plan to help you grow your blog. All right, um, and then I'm going to add an HTML block. So you can just search for it if you want. If you can't find it, HTML, it's right here. This is JavaScript is HTML, it's code. So click on that and then you can paste it there. Update your post and then you can preview it to see what it looks like. And there it is. Make sure you sign up to the 12 month blog plan to help you grow your blog. It's right here. People can put in their name, their email address and hit gimme. They'll get the success message and then they'll be placed on your email list. And there you go. That's how you create a convert kit form on your blog.